I want to explore the ships whenever we have the opportunity to do so, which is awesome. A lot of cutscenes, which is understandable, I suppose. It's a big story. So I have to explain everything and set the scene, as it were. That's us traveling through space. Beautiful. So it's the same ship, but it looks very different. Although. I can't believe the council won't help. Hmm? If Thestia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you could be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Well, it might be just because we're on a different level than we could access before. We have to wait to go through this. Can I talk to my own crew? Is this guy? The Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Okay, who's this guy? Hey, hey. I wanted to talk to you. Hey. Haha. <laughs> he just salutes me. Do it again. Do it again. Alright, screw you then. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Right, I'll check out my private terminal. It's in the same place. As it was in Mass Effect 2. Special Ops from Stephen Hackett. Shepard, Alliance forces are stretched thin across a galaxy. The galaxy. We need your specific talents for a series of ops. These missions will open doors for the Alliance in places we can't touch through conventional means. We'll deploy operatives to hold point after you've completed your objectives. I need you to head to a Cerberus lab on the planet Sanctum. I'll brief you when you're inbound, Hackett. Reinstatement from Stephen Hackett. Commander Shepard, this letter formally acknowledges your reinstatement into the Alliance Navy per Admiral David Anderson's re recent verbal communication. Under Emergency War Powers Registration 903.5, you are hereby authorized to assume command of the Normandy SR2. You are directed to be in interrogation. What's that say? Interdiction operations? against any and all enemies posing a threat to Earth, its colonies and its allies. Furthermore, you are granted diplomatic authority to establish treaties with non-human races as required to support your mission. Sincerely, Admiral Hackett. Emergency flash traffic. Flash 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 X1A34. All Alliance military personnel. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Hackett has declared threat Condition Saber 1. Saber 1? What? That must be pretty up there, I guess. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. Looks like his caps lock was stuck. All Olance military personnel are directed to evacuate Soul System at first available opportunity. Do not attempt Earth re approach. Heavy enemy resistance reported. Repeat, do not attempt Earth approach. Further instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacket. Channel Crimson Tacket. Earth based Alliance personnel unable to evacuate are directed to commence any and all necessary countermeasures. All remaining Alliance personnel outside Soul Theatre are directed to muster at pre appointed staging areas and commence offensive combat operations at first available opportunity. In absence of further instruction, independent action is authorized. A lot of mail we have right now. Key 9, that's part of the N7 Special Edition. My dog, dear Commander Shepard, I was a contractor working on the Normandy's haptic interface when I when it was in dry dock. Your VIED emailed me to let me know I left my dog mech on board. I'm all the way out in Terra Nova now and I would hate for you to go a million clicks out of your way to drop off my dog. Please just take care of her. She likes exploring sniffing chemical trails on 750 volt outlets. Thank you and I'm sorry for the trouble. I promise she won't be too much of a headache. Well, she's a robot dog. Armor from your fans. From Joker. Hey Commander, we just got a shipment of armor delivered to the Normandy. It's from a group of Alliance soldiers who used to be stationed at Rhode Island. Don't know how they found us, they left a note that says, You need this more than we do. The, arbits, the armor is called Reckoner Knight or something. That sounds awesome. We'll check that out. 
You can check it out in the equipment locker. Man, those arm specs look like they could take out an eye. Arm specs? I like arm specs. N7 weaponry. Your VI ED put out a request for me to for a handful of N7 grenade grade weapons. Up to oblige. I led the engineers who retrofitted the Normandy when it was turned over to the Alliance ED Captain Company. When we were overhauling the Normandy's interior, she's a beautiful ship, Commander. I'll miss working on her. I left the guns in your weapon locker, so these are the N7 guns. I thought we already had them, but obviously not. ANN alert, new article, Aquarian Fleet. By Ruxius Rullis. Uh, Citadel, where's the Aquarian Fleet? The latest intelligence shows that the Reapers are taking system after system at a feverish pace. Members of all races are fleeing their stations, colonies, and in some cases their homeworlds. This kind of forced exodus might be seen might seem especially familiar to the nomadic Korians who were pushed off their homeworld by the synthetic Geth centuries ago. But as the galaxy pushes back against the Reapers, the Korians are conspicuously absent. Turian and Alan spokespeople cannot provide the fleet's current location. They say they have other concerns at the moment. Whatever the Korians are up to, they want it kept secret from the Council. After a refueling stop at Elium, the fleet left no stated destination, and there are also reports of a galaxy-wide call for all young adult Korians to abandon their pilgrimage to rejoin the fleet. Greedy and short-sighted powers will always try to gain the upper hand in times of galactic crisis. We can only hope that whatever the Korians are planning does not interfere with the only thing that should matter, stopping the Reapers. Read Roxius's Rylus's regular column view of the empire exclusively on ann so it's like cnn only for the galaxy welcome back gift from 80 while we were in dry dock joker suggested that a small welcoming gift would be appropriate to have on hand should you be reinstated as commanding officer as the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers he suggested uh, that would be that would have been awesome I chose something from the official systems alliance catalog. Soldiers who have held an N7 designation for five or more years are entitled to a commemorative hooded jacket for war on off-duty hours. You'll find it among the selection of casual clothing in your cabin, which is also part of the N7 Special Edition. Priority Mission Eden Prime. Is this uh, where I get my Prothean companion? Commander, service has attacked Eden Prime and is now occupying the colony. Alliance forces are stretched too thin right now to attempt to liberate the colony, but we've been doing what we can to covertly aid the local resistance. In the process, we've learned that Cerberus has uncovered a major Proethean artifact that must be the From Ashes DLC. I don't know. I think I'll do that first, actually. <laughs> Might be a good idea. We don't know what it is, but it appears to be the reason for the attack on the colony. We need you to infiltrate the colony and recover the artifact. Sounds good to me. So there we go, we read all those emails. Took quite a while. For increased tactical control, bring Watch these up the videos. Power menu. I already know this. The action, giving you time to I can't skip it. Battlefield, target new enemies and select the power. Ugh. To use a power to attack an opponent, target the enemy before pausing the game. Then highlight and select the power. I know how to do this. I've learned it from Mass Effect too. The power will fire at the targeted enemy as you return to action. Can't skip. For maximum tactical effectiveness, use squad mate powers in combination, yeah, combination with your own, hitting enemies with up to three powers at once. Boom. Can I skip this? Nope. I'm not going to watch the rest of them. Wait, tactical mastery, advanced power use. Power combinations. I can watch those in my own time. Eden Prime. I want to check out the rest of the ship before I embark on any missions. So talk to Joker here up at the helm of the ship. What's this? The air locker? Can we do anything here? What do you call that actually? I uh, can't read it. 
Hey, Joker. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. Yeah. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. You're surprised? They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them, you know, for old time's sake. That might be a good idea, actually. Can I talk to him again? Commander. Commanders? That's all you Commander. have to say to me? After all we've been through, Joker. Voiced by Seth Green, of course. So let's take the elevator. See where we can actually go. Wow, there's five floors now. There was only like three. Or was it four on the Mass Effect 2? Captain's Cabin. Let's check it out. Let's see, we'll change into our more comfortable gear. Yes, this is the same. And here's the wee toilet. Hehe. <laughs> Ah, uh, the mirror actually works in Mass Effect 2, you can see yourself. That's good. Let's use the toilet. Hmm, what a relief. Private terminal, we've already read that. We've got our fish tank. <laughs> what else have we got? Sound system. Any good tunes? Oh yeah, <laughs> old school. So let's see, we've got two armor sets. Wow, what is that? Reckoner Knight? How did I get that? Is that part of the DLC? That's sick. What does it actually do though? Gives us a shield boost, weapon damage and melee damage. Show info. Melee damage plus 20%, weapon damage plus 10%, shields plus 10%, health plus 10%. Very nice. That looks sick as hell. Don't, I don't really like the way they give this, give you this armor, so early on you should be able to acquire this later in the game, because it looks awesome. The Reckoner Knight armor was originally worn by the winners of Earth's Urban Combat Championship 2186. The Rhode Island Knights, a military grade version of this equipment, was presented to longtime Knight fans at the Alliance Rhodes Island base and thanks for their passionate and vocal support during the EUCC Championship mass matches. Beneath this armor's medieval gothic facade lies a host of biofeedback systems intended to monitor the rower's health and combat performance. Micro servers maximize damage done in close quarters combat. While a beefed up power cell feeds energy into weapon systems to increase projectile velocity. The fitting gear originally designed for a full contact sport. A sophisticated shield system also offers the wearer solid protection from incoming attacks. Casual, what have we got? Well, that's horrible. Now that's from Mass Effect 2. There's our hoodie, hehe. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. A lot more options. I think we'll wear our hoodie, yeah, okay. Just because it's exclusive. So let's go down to the next floor. Combat information center, is that where we came from? CIC war room and bridge. Cruise quarters, mess hall lounge, medical AI core, main battery observation deck and life support. I wonder if it's the same as in Mass Effect 2 where the some of the floors are locked until you get certain members. Doesn't look that way. So far. Port observation. This is where the justice car, or just the car used to stay. Got a bar here. 